Hey guys, it is when Wednesday the second. My week is all thrown off because of the kids' vacation. <coughs> first day back to school, yeah. This is also the first day where I haven't really had any inspiration for the new Presumptuous Oracle card deck, but that's okay. Uh, I don't have the expectation for a card a day. Uh, and I had some really, really weird dreams. <laughs> I went to bed just daydreaming about cookies because I didn't get to make my typical holiday cookies and I was kind of bummed. The oven's been broke on and off and it, it life has kind of been a bit of a shit show, honestly, you know. So uh, I was I was thinking about cookies and my brain kind of carried that theme so I was dreaming about making cookies and then I was like, you think cookies are cool? What about cookie cake? And I'm like, that's it. I really, I got to stop watching Audrey's cooking videos because <laughs> my brain is getting sucked into this. Uh, oh my gosh. And then somehow it ended up that there were four baby jaguars in my bed with a tree growing out of my bed. And I, I had to take the baby jaguars outside to go potty. Like it got a little weird. I loved it. It got a little weird. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, how have you survived the holidays? Because officially they're, they're over. It's the second. We're, we're done. We're free and clear until Valentine's Day. Some of us are free and clear until after that. Uh, I celebrate Galentine's, so I, I always try and, um, do something little, uh, for a friend or two. Cards, you know, some little trinkets. Uh, it gives me something to celebrate because they say statistically women will live what is it five to 15 years longer than their mate and the reason that they survive longer is because they have a, a base of strength in their sisterhood their friends and female friends and female relatives um you know because if all the men are dying the only people you have left are the women and if you have a, a strong social circle social network uh, you're more likely to find uh, joy and happiness in your long life. And I, I like to kind of celebrate that, that kind of sisterhood. And I'm sure guys do their version of that, that kind of thing. Uh, so, Galentine's. I, I celebrate Galentine's. And then, of course, there's St. Patrick's Day and Easter. We don't drink and we're not Irish. So, we kind of do the cheesy stuff for St. Patrick's Day. But this is kind of... that's what I, I feel like that's why there's kind of that... that winter blues streak because we have all of this hype up to Christmas. I mean, literally, we're talking for the moment that Halloween is over and, like, it keeps, like, creeping back. It used to be when Thanksgiving was over. Then then you're allowed to, to pull out all the Christmas stuff. Literally this year, as soon as Halloween is over, all the Christmas stuff is out. Because you don't buy gifts for Thanksgiving. Uh, a lot of people don't decorate for Thanksgiving, so the next big retail push is for Christmas and that makes sense but there's no there's no push after Christmas there's there's like the dry wasteland of, of snow and bills and catching up <laughs> catching up to stuff so January is kind of notoriously a bummer um how I personally try my best to counteract that is that I have um projects going so for me organization is huge especially as the kids grow and change and evolve uh how I, I manage their toys and then of course donating the old toys um you know that's that's kind of an ongoing process as they outgrow clothes I mean my gosh Audrey ate for like two weeks straight and then slept for a week she was sick and I, I swear she's grown two inches I mean so so organizing that stuff and of course reorganizing my stuff because I take care of everybody else my room is almost always the one that looks like a trash heap because I, you know, they're clean clothes piles, but they very rarely get put away. <laughs> I just, I wear them again and wash them and yeah, you know, you know. <clears throat> and then all the paperwork from Dean's special needs stuff. And that's, that's one of the big things that I'm doing this year. I'm like, I have to have a better paperwork system because it's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And I don't like that. That makes me feel anxious. And I'd rather be able to say I know where everything is. So that's my goal this January and February is to make sure all my paperwork is organized. One of the big reasons for that is I want to save all the kids artwork. And I need space to be able to do that. So I need to find a system that works for me and the family. 
The other big thing is gardening. If you are not a green thumb, this may not be exciting to you, but if you are, are interested in celebrating the earth in a mystical or, or spiritual sense, I would encourage you to grow something. Get three little pots and do herbs that don't die easily. That's that's great. Uh, if you like eating something, grow that thing. Like, hello, woohoo, let's do that. Try it. You know, it might not work out, but if it does, imagine your excitement at your very first whatever. That's just pretty darn cool. And it's that excitement that keeps me going through the snowy bluesy season. Uh, inevitably, this small greenhouse that we keep at the farm gets trashed by winter storms. Like it, every year, every year it happens. It's made of like that, that it, it's not even flimsy. It's just the way that the frame is set up. Uh, it, it the, the stuff pops in and out. And even though we tried duct tape one year, we've, we've, we've gotten pretty uh, creative on talking about fixing the small greenhouse. It, it's trashed until spring pretty much. So, I got uh, one of those really cool little biodomes on sale. I scouted a really good email sale and got a, a, a biodome. And I'm looking forward to uh, ordering from Baker's Heirloom Seeds. Why do I care about a brand name? Baker's Seeds is about a lot more than just seeds. Uh, they're into conservation. They're into spreading the opportunity for everyone to have access to heirloom quality organic seeds and that as an agricultural chick is super 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 important to me and so I always encourage people to please buy their seeds from bakers it's, it's, it's not that hard um, they're really not that expensive um, are they cheap I mean, I, I think so, I, I, but I regularly buy like a hundred bucks worth of seeds, but we're talking about enough seeds to do a CSA. So you don't have to worry about buying that many seeds. Buy some tomato, buy some cucumbers, buy some zucchini, buy some carrots, buy some radishes, buy a bunch of lettuces. They have some cool lettuce mixes. Um, so go, go look them up. Baker's Seeds, uh, maybe Baker's Heirloom Seeds. I think it's rareseeds.org. They do have some specialty things that are, that are expensive. Like they, they go crazy into like certain gourds, uh, certain tomatoes. Um, I grow tomatoes, but I don't eat them. So those sorts of things aren't, aren't that big to me. But I really enjoy having fresh herbs. I really enjoy having my own lettuce, especially with the E. coli thing. I mean, hey, grow your own. You don't have to worry about that stuff. These are the things that really carry me through what would typically be a, a bummer of a season. I mean, we're talking three months. The other big thing I usually do is I, I volunteer. So I joined up with the Women's Giving Circle, and I'll be stepping into my position um, this month. Uh, I'm taking over the newsletter and the social media stuff for them, so I'm really excited to have an opportunity to help this fantastic organization grow and thrive through my knowledge. That's um, and it's free. I mean, I it's free for me to help them. I give them my time and my knowledge, and it's free for them to accept my help. So they've graciously given me a membership for a year, which is really awesome. I really appreciate that because their membership is due to them giving sponsorships so their membership fee is kind of expensive but volunteer your time volunteer your services volunteer to ask others for resources like i i'm gathering yarn for the the cancer kids that i think they're doing that in spring so the fiber girls are going to be teaching uh children in cancer treatment how to crochet and you know all the donations that i gather that i ask friends and family that I, that all goes to them those girls don't have to worry about begging. I'm, I'm super okay with that. So uh, volunteering, organizing, planning ahead for gardening in spring. Um, so I'm sure you have a million other things that you could be doing. Focus on one or two. Focus on one or two. Um, I pick three because that's, that's kind of my traditional stuff that I, I always do. If I'm not currently volunteering, I look for new opportunities. And there's there's always, always, always opportunities. If you love dogs, check out your Humane Society. Um, check out your local non-kill shelter. Check out uh, the feral shelters. I mean, there's there's a lot that you can do. Um, even just by spreading awareness and all that is free, you know, you don't have to worry about having no money. Most people have a no spend January. I get it. I get it. After Christmas, most of us are poor. <laughs> 
Another thing to look at is budgeting. Um, I always uh, review my budgeting from the last year. I was kind of naughty last year, so I gotta, I gotta do better this year. I'm trying to, to bulk back up my savings because the down payment for the car was most of my savings, so I gotta, I gotta bulk that back up this year. So these intentional things that I'm working towards keep me focused enough so that I don't get bummed during the typical blues season. So what are your tips? What do you think? Give me some feedback. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.